This video presents upgrade of our Fourier transform infrared spectrometer, uh, which you see now. So this is a Fourier transform infrared spectrometer, which is connected to a uh, vacuum experimental setup. So here is a vacuum chamber, and here is a detector chamber with infrared detectors. And for this upgrade, we used few stepper motors. The stepper motors have been obtained from Stepper Online Company. So this black box contains electronics for controlling stepper motors. Let's look inside. So we have here stepper motor drivers, we have a power supply and we have an Arduino board which is connected via USB to PC. So here is a lab view interface to control the stepper motors. So we have five stepper motors in total and one option is to find a zero position for two of these motors. So let's try to find zero position for motor one. So I press here, so here is the actual position actual position and okay now it's zero so we can set a zero position for motor so here one can um, set up the motor speed so it's a maximum at the moment we don't want to change this and here we can move the motors back and forth so two of the motors are for the translational stage and three of the motors to tilt a mirror so just for rotation of screws okay so it works like this I press here and now motor one moves to this position so I can enter number of steps here let's say 10,000 and I press here and you see now it's at another position. So the same is true for motor 3, 4 and 5. So what you see now are infrared detectors. And we have infrared detectors outside, we have infrared detectors inside the vacuum chamber. So usually it's under vacuum but now it's opened and you can recognize also some translational stages and mirrors so one mirror is here another mirror is here and these translational sta stages are controlled by stepper motors so here you see also small stepper motors to tilt this mirror and I will show you now how it works. So the first thing we want to try is to find the zero position for the motor 2. So now you see how it moves and we have a photo sensor here and this defines a zero position. So now you see the mirror, it's coming now here. So we have a zero position. Here you can see the connection of the motor tube to the translation stage. Now we'll see how it works. Now you see motor 2 is working and we we have now 100,000 oh. steps of motor 2. Okay, now this is translation stage for the motor 1 and we'll see how it moves. Okay, motor 1 left. Okay, oh. now you see the motor one 
Moose and Miro. Once more, please. Okay, so the motor one is moving. Back, please, yeah. Now it goes back. Okay, very good. Um, so what else could be controlled here? Motor for left. Okay, so you see it it turns a screw and this screw uh, is responsible for tilting of the mirror. One small place, motor four. Okay, and back, motor four back. Okay, you see uh, we can turn the screw back and forth. Okay, now we have motor three and five. So motor three please, motor three left. Yes, so this is the our motor 3 moves the tilting screw and now motor 5 motor 5 left. left yes so and now you see one small place another motor is moving motor 3 place left. yes once more once more once more Okay.